In this video I'm going to teach you how to choose between a, a lot of wedding venues. There are tons out there. Sometimes we have 20, 25 venues that we like and we don't know which one to have our wedding at or our wedding reception at. So please keep watching. This video is for anyone who's getting married, anyone who has a wedding reception coming up, even if you know someone who's getting married. Step one, pick a handful of your favorites. I hope you can do this step on your own. I'm not going to teach you how, but step one is to pick your favorites, narrow it down to about a dozen venues. If you can't do this, then ask friends to help you and they'll help you out. So less than a dozen venues in step one. Step two, how many guests are you inviting? Decide how many guests you're planning on having at your wedding. You don't want to have a venue with a 500 guest capacity when you're only inviting 100 people. Uh, at the average reception venue, it's they're going to hold about one to 300 guests. You can get less than that, you can get more than that. But make sure you get rid of all the venues you're looking at that are either too big or too small. Step three, price. You need to sit down with your fiance and set a budget. Decide how much you have to spend and don't go over that budget. Now once you've decided how much money you have to spend, your reception should cost you about half of your budget. So this includes your reception venue, your food, decorations, things like that. That should be about half of your budget and that's not including your honeymoon. So everything that's too expensive, get rid of. By the end of step three, you should have about three to four wedding reception venues left. Step four, location. Now you want to select a venue that's in a central location that's easy for your guests to get to. If it's too far of a trip, you're going to have less guests attending your wedding. So once you get rid of the venues that are too far away, that aren't in a good central location, you started with a dozen, you should have about two to three choices left. And step five, this is the fun one, the final suggestion I have is is where you're going to select a handful of friends, take some friends to the two or three venues you've chosen, and let them help you decide which venue to choose. I'm sure this will be easy for you. I'm sure your friends will love to help, so enjoy this step. So by the end of step five, you should have your final decision made. Best of luck. I truly hope you find the perfect wedding venue.